of CD crazy. They just had an amazing selection today. The best of Blondie, Kraftwerk, Young Marble Giants, Yoko Ono, really? A very misunderstood artist and the Beatles would have broken up anyway. Have you shared this theory with anyone? I know it, Yoko knows it, Sean knows it, Julian's still in denial, but what can you do? Okay, I must listen to anyone named Claudine Langer. You know, this is only like the second night we've ever spent apart. Does that make you sad? Yeah, but I'll get over it. Uh -huh. Well, Paul and Linda McCartney only spent 11 nights apart their entire relationship. Did you know that? I did not know that. Well, they were truly devoted to each other. Just the being apart was too painful to even talk about. I understand. I, I don't think that Linda would have even considered cat sitting without Paul. You know, Mom, hmm. when I go off to college, I'm going to be gone every night. What will you do He's then? great. Could you be a little more vague? <laughs> I don't know. He's Max. He's great. Well, what's his CD collection like? Don't read into his CD collection. Jazz, classical, what's the story? It's a kind of a general collection. Uh-oh. Uh, Christopher. Are we talking a dozen soundtracks, a few Beatles, a Bob Dylan, plus a generic 50? I said don't. Alanis Morissette? Hey, a lot of people knee-jerk about that first one of hers. Cut him some slack. And people can evolve together, don't you think? Maybe. Yoko and John Lennon did. They just got closer and closer as the years went by. At the end, they had the same face. Yeah, it got a little spooky. But cool. Yeah, they were lucky. Hello there. Hey, Clara. Nice. Is that a Stella McCartney? It's a Walmart. Well, it's very pretty. My mom bought it. Hey, the books don't hate you. Oh, Rory, my brain is full. It has reached capacity. It's Shea Stadium when the Beatles played. It's cramped and girls are screaming and I think George is fighting with Ringo. Oh, who listens to the lyrics? Anybody not hanging out with Annie Sullivan by the water pump. What are these? Well, those are some alternative songs, but I really like this one the best. Alternative songs, good. Let's see. Hey Jude. Paul wrote it for Julian to cheer him up. Seasons in the Sun. Oh, a sentimental Style. favorite. We weren't just sitting at a round table with black backdrops. But the audience wouldn't be able to see anything. I was working with the losers in the AV club to project it on a giant video screen. And all Mr. Hunter said was, Paris, this isn't the Beatles at Shea Stadium. Nice anachronism, huh? Like they had video screens in 65. His references are as topical as his suits. There's going to be a little reunion of the Whiff and Poops. I'm sorry, the what? It's an a cappella singing group I belong to at Yale. A singing group? A very famous singing group, actually. Like the Beatles, but with better table manners. I've never heard you sing. We're going well, to Bastide. But don't fret. Maybe the Beatles will be there, and you can sit in and jam with them. Two of the Beatles are dead, Emily. Only one is dead. No, a second Beatle died just recently. Lorelei? Could you press the pause button on this conversation? I really want Rory to hear the rest yeah. of it. I'm mad and needy, and I ended up going out to dinner alone with my parents, who bickered the whole time about which Beatle is alive and which is dead. So where'd they land? John and Keith are dead. Paul and Bingo are still kicking. Play hooky to listen. You're going to be the first one to hear the big news. Do I have to hear it now? I have so many things to do. Luke and I are engaged. You are? As of just a few minutes ago. Well, what do you know? I thought there was a better chance of all four of the Beatles getting back together than you two ever calming down long enough to get engaged. Oh, well, wonder of wonder. Miracle of miracles, right? Can you just open the store, Taylor? Aren't they amazing? The whole combo's amazing. Follow me. Me, I love the Beatles. Mitchum took me to see Paul McCartney last year, and I almost died. <laughs> Come on. I hope it's something like Calla Lily Lane, you know, like a flower, something pretty. Or Charing Cross Road, or Abbey Road, something classic. Can we walk a little faster, please? A hit. A hit? But tons of great bands don't have hits. I don't care about other bands. I care about your band, Lane's band. Don't you care about your band? I care a buttload. Then write a hit. OK, not a problem. I mean, McCartney hasn't written a hit in 20 years, but I'll just sit down and crank one out. You will if you want to marry Lane. That's just not just how it works. Just think of this as one long, lazy Sunday. Yeah, babe. Plus, you get to eat all your meals on trays. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to hang out with you, just like John and Yoko. This is your fault. Mine. See what I deal with?